what an absolutely glorious day it is again today as promised there's a part two um i've not <laughs> i've noticed over a couple of the past um 12 hours or even 48 hours right so the fair a couple of little them little troll pages see like that tag when he thought i cut my tag off well when he seen i cut my tag off they put an on going ah sam's going back to jail he's cut his tag off and then the other day when he thought i was actually in prison he put ha he's in jail <laughs> Right, and I'm sorry to disappoint you, but these trolls have actually been wrong on both occasions. Um, and yeah, it's, it pro I think it's probably about like 10 nil to me versus the trolls um, lately. <laughs> but um, yeah, as I said, so let's get back to this part two. So yeah, I cut my tag off. Why did I cut my tag off? Why was I so stupid to cut my tag off when I've been on it for so long and I've jumped through every hoop that the establishment have put it in front of me? And um, why would this fucking do it at the last moment? The reason why is because I was arrested the other day, as you know, for breach of tag and conspiracy charges. I went and seen my probation. They said, you did not breach your tag, then police shouldn't have arrested you. So lucky enough, she's seen through the um, corruption. So what they've done then is she's went, listen, I'm going to take your tag off straight away. Your tag's going off and you track it because you're a Lord abiding citizen. Lord abiding fucking hard working member of society. That's what I am. So they, <laughs> so they took it off, probation they've took it off. So it's happy, so I was able to cut it off. Met the um, EMS tagging team, and they were happy for me to cut it off. So yeah, happy days. But um, that's a classic example of not all is what you see on social media, right? So it's, um, that's why I said to you to stay tuned for part two. But what that's done, <laughs> it let the fucking trolls run away with it for a couple of, for a little 24 hours, all getting fucking the little add-ons in the mum's fucking um, box rooms right behind a little screen fucking like little pedos fucking on fake accounts but let them run with the room with it for 24 hours thinking that i was wanted i am not that stupid to fucking to fall for the establishment's tricks i was when i got released they released me after saved my maximum sentence i was not released four and a half months early like most prisoners with tags and getting a tag they, they wouldn't give me that because they said they believed i'd breach it so when I served my maximum sentence, they gave me a tag as part of my license conditions, even though they said they wouldn't release me early because they believed I'd breach it. So effectively, they were just setting me up to fail. Lucky enough, I'm not that stupid. Um, I'm far too intelligent to fall for their game. So I stuck to every single condition. So yeah, tag and track it off. So I'm no longer monitored. Can't be tracked my movements. Um, and I'm hoping probation are going to give me permission this month so I can leave Africa so we can get over there and do good positive things do things that no one else has ever done or is doing and yeah that's what we'll be doing in Africa so stay tuned everyone lots to come over in Africa very soon I'm not wanted and I am um, yeah as I said I'm not wanted I'm fucking call me tag off because I was given full permission by probation <laughs> And that's the thing, it's going to be a massive, massive disappointment to the little fucking trolls, isn't it? To the little haters. You want to see you fail, but we're not going to fail. Do you know why we're not going to fail? Because, as I said, we've got far too much going for us. We've got, we're living good as it is anyway, right? But then obviously, when we get over to Africa, we're going to be doing things literally no one else have ever, has ever done, right? Curing these kids at cataracts, getting them their operations, right? Standing up against corrupt charities, exposing corrupt charities, knocking the slums down and rebuilding it for the people and literally just doing so much positivity over there. And um, yeah, and that's it. So we've got so much to come and that's what I'm happy for. Now, the fact I've had my tag taken off is just a, another huge step forwards and my tracker because now I'm, I'm my movement's not monitored. I can't be tracked. Um, so yeah, that's it. A little bit more active, can't he? Legitly though, as, as you know, I'm, I'm legit. 100% legit. Um, <laughs> I am though, honestly, like regardless of what people think, <laughs> I'm legit. I'm a Lord abiding fucking member of this society. And um, yeah, but as and the fact that my tracker and tag has been removed early clearly shows the good behavior. But yeah, as I said, I've um, got so much good, positive stuff to come. So yeah, stay tuned and have a lovely day. Have your nice dinner, whatever you're eating. And yeah, say hello to your families for me. Tell them I said hello and I hope they're having a lovely day. <laughs> and enjoy yourselves in a bit. <laughs>